Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And finally, after a long, long, long time, Nitin Ji is here. He has agreed to do another session, and I was overwhelmed by the response which we got in the earlier videos. And finally, he's here now, and he's going to teach us something very special today. It's one of the basics, but people don't use it, and there's a lot of misunderstanding, and people don't know how to use it. Okay, so he will teach us. how to see planetary strength so welcome to exotic astrology please share what you want to share <laughs> jai shri ram baba ji ji uh, first of all thank you so much for inviting me on your forum and as we promised today we will discuss about how to check planetary strength is in divisional chart so um without any further delay shall we start the topic yes as you say <laughs> <laughs> See the topic is Vinshopak Bala, mm -hmm. and uh, Vinshopak Bala is the tool through which we can examine the strength of a planet in divisional charts. Okay, or you can we can say uh, it's a shortcut to check the strength of a planet in divisional chart. And uh, before proceeding further, first of all, we need to understand what is divisional chart, right? Let's start. So, what are divisional charts? As all we know, that Vedic astrology divide the zodiac into several type of segments. Thirty degree segment is called sign and bhavas, right? And three degree uh, uh, division is called dashmansha. Three degree twenty minute is called navansh. Three mm -hmm. degree forty five minute is called saptamansh, and so on. So, these subtle divisions or divisional charts are called vargas in sanskrit or in vedic astrology and are said to be the various micro zodiac mini chart you can say mini chart uh, created within the natural macro zodiac which is the main chart or horoscope of the natal okay now the question is why we need divisional chart because there are certain uh, astrologer in india who are not using divisional chart on a daily basis okay they can predict uh, from the, the the only horoscope and uh, they are quite precise about it so but there is a need and uh, i am going to share why we need to examine divisional chart first of all we need to understand human life is a multi dimensional thing okay um one person on a single day is living his professional life after that he is coming to home uh, enjoying his domestic life so at a single time he is enjoying all facet or all dimension of his life but uh, we have limitation of having only 12 houses in astrology and sometime it create dilemma uh, what kind of dilemma see suppose someone is coming to us and asking for his mother health uh, and as all we know that uh, uh, mother sh should be seen from the fourth house right so but at the same time fourth house also indicate mental peace of the native it also represent domestic environment it also represent you, your convince your vehicle it also uh, signify your home and in your body it also represent your lungs so how can we say that this particular parent who is posited in the so and so house will affect only mother health or will it giving result related to convince only it become difficult for us to you know pinpoint the exact uh, cause or exact root of it and for that for pinpointing the concern state we need to rely on natural karaka and divisional chart okay as all we know that uh, vehicle should be seen from venus venus is the natural karaka of uh, vahan but um, for mother we need to focus on chandrama so natural karaka is one of them through which we can pinpoint the exact uh, cause and apart from it we have divisional chart divisional chart can segregate house uh, traits into different categories you know and uh, in brahat parashar hora shastra 
uh, there are 16 divisional chart which are called Shodashvarga. And uh, today out of those 16, I am only sharing six with you. Uh, this, these six are called Shadvarga. And um, the foremost important is obviously Janam Kundi uh, or D1. It represents your health, your body, your behavior, and at the same time, overall your life. Then we have Hora Kundi, which represents wealth. Drishkan, your siblings, and also your health. It also signifies health. Then Navamsha, life partner and planetary strength. Dwadamsh, parental support. Trishansh, failure, bad luck, misfortune, fire, you know, jail and uh, ceiling. All these things should be seen from Trishansha. So these are all divis these are six divisional chart, important six divisional chart. And now the question again, how to check strength of planet in divisional chart? Basically, we all know that for checking strength of a planet, we need to focus on three basic parameters. One is bhava position, in which bhava it is posited. For example, if some uh, if planet X is posited in trine, we consider it as a strong planet. In angle, also it is good. Uh, if it is in six, eight, twelve, uh, it is considered to be weak or inauspicious. So one thing is bhava position. The other one is sign position or Rashi position. Um, friendly, uh, whether it is posited in friendly sign or animal sign, Ucha, Nietzsche, etc. Et and then after that, we have conjunctions and aspect which can, you know, um, vary the result. So, you know, Vinshopak Bala is, uh, is focusing only on Rashi position. Fine. It only uh, signify Rashi position of the planet in divisional chart. Let us see. First of all, let's break this word. Vinshati. Uh, Vinshopak uh, comes from Vinsh. Vinsh means in Sanskrit it is called 20. So we are going to give score to a planet out of 20. It will not exceed in any case 20. Uh, Rishi Parasha gave a weighted system to be attributed to the divisional chart while analyzing the divisional in a numerical analysis. Or you can we can say if we want to quantify planetary uh, strength or planetary impact, so we can use this Vinsho Pagbala. Anal analyze to be able to objectify each planet score in a different charts. And uh, higher the score, better the result a planet gives in its Vimshotri and other dashas as the planet is well posited to fructify a result of various dimension aspects of your life that these divisional chart rule. For example, if someone is getting a good score in Navamsha, it represented that in particular in that particular planet dasha, you are going to enjoy your married life. Okay. Okay, so uh, higher the score, better the result. Then, yeah, because one planet can give you good things in marriage, then troubles in career. Absolutely, I want this to cover explains. this point later, but you you disclose this earlier. <laughs> anyway, uh, fine. Uh, Shadvarga chart, uh, you know, according to Vishi Parashara, he give different weightage to different Shadvarga chart. Not all chart are equally important. The birth chart is the foremost important and according to this system, uh, six point has been allotted to Rashi chart. Mm -hmm. Okay, out of 20, six should be seen from the Rashi chart. Then Hora chart, only two point, which represent your wealth. Deshkan, four points. Navamsha, second highest five points so if a planet is well posited in d1 and d9 you will automatically get 11 point out of 20 so more than half that is why we use only uh, in you know in some uh, some software 
और uh, हम उसे छोटी पत्रिका बोलते हैं स्मॉल हॉरोस्कोप वी हैव ओनली डी वन एंड डी नाइन देन द्वादाम स्टार्ट टू पॉइंट एंड डी थर्टी फॉर डी डी थर्टी वी हैव वन पॉइंट अलॉटमेंट ओके एंड नाउ we already knew about the dash avasthas you know if a planet is posited in a um, uch rashi uh, we are going to say this planet is strong enough to give result right uh, on that note we have these uh, by you know uh, avasthas either planet is would, would be in mula trikona sign or in om sign then fast friend uh for finding out fast friend we need to uh, utilize natural uh, uh, friendship and uh, what we call temporary uh, friendship temporary right friendship. Uh, yes panchada maitri in overall yes. we need to club uh, them together and find a panchada maitri chakra find out the panchada maitri chakra and through which uh, through it we can uh, classify a planet into fast friend friend neutral enemy and great enemy strange point is in this system we are not using uchcha neech avastha oh okay so suppose uh, mars is exalted in saturn sign right uh -huh. mars become exalted in saturn sign but still mars and saturn are not friend mm -hmm. uh so according to this system mars will not get good marks in vinshopak bala if it is exalted in d1 Oh. Are you getting that? Okay. Suppose I'm giving you one more example. Suppose Venus is debilitated in Mercury sign. Ah, huh. yes. So uh, because of debilitation, we should uh, reduce the score. But uh, because we are not considering Uchcha Nicha here, and Venus become debilitated in Mercury sign Virgo, Mercury is friend of Venus naturally. Uh -huh. So even after debilitation, he will attain good score in Vinshopak. oh so it will obtain okay. more score in virgo than it will obtain in pisces <laughs> absolutely <laughs> oh <laughs> okay uh so this is got strange but uh, according to the system we need to focus on uh, friendly relationship between the uh, and, among the planet and do you have any idea why this is i mean yeah see this depend on planetary uh, relationship this is okay. not on the uchcha avastha or neecha avastha whether the planet okay. uh, you know if we are using panchada maitri chakra if we are using panchada maitri chakra there is no need to involve uh, uchcha neecha in it because panchada maitri chakra is a separate identity it is accepted or you can we can say we are not we uh, doesn't use uh, uchcha neecha in finding out panchada maitri Okay, so this classification is not based on the dignity of the sign; it is based on the friendship. That is the ultimate yeah. conclusion. Okay, yes. then it is okay. Hmm. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to check the for example. Uh, I'm giving you one example. Suppose uh, Jupiter is posited in Sagittarius in D1 yes. chart. So it will be it would be in uh, its Mula Trikona Rashi. Yes. So out of six, he will get uh, full marks. because oh. we allotted six marks to d1 chart birth chart okay and suppose um, if it fall in uh, sagittarius in navamsha also hmm in that case uh, through navamsha he will get five marks five out of five because we allotted five marks to navamsha okay. chart okay so, so this jupiter, is how we need to jupiter, yeah. jupiter jupiter will get full marks if it is in sagittarius mm -hmm. and if it is in cancer it will get less marks absolutely oh ah, okay. okay and what about pisces the same or bit less pisces sign and mool trikona sign there is not much difference oh ah, okay 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 and one more thing uh, we need to calculate it uh, uh, you know method is given in bphs i i, I don't want to uh, you know uh, use it right now because um, nowadays uh, everyone can uh, check these vinshopak bala through different software in jhora it is given uh, it's a free software and there are other software too which can easily calculate vinshopak bal for you but we need to understand the crux of it why yes. what is vinshopak bal okay okay so let's discuss this chart uh, 18th october 1955 uh 2255 hours uh, south carolina usa 
so in this chart uh, you know in a in the birth chart we can see that mercury is posited in virgo right yes and uh, venus is also posited in uh, libra libra mula kona rashi okay so these two planet obviously out of six they will get six here and uh, because of the degrees they fall in different vargas and we can calculate and we can uh, see the score here so basically a uh, birth chart can give you the hint how much score this planet is going to attain in divisional in a vinshopak bala because out of 26 should 6 uh, is allotted to this chart right so venus and mercury is having um, a good score here in this yes. chart according to d1 and actual score was actual score is mercury 19 points and venus 17 points <laughs> okay now let's get back to this chart again so mercury and venus is getting 19 and 17 in this chart mercury is the ruler of lagna and uh, fourth house and uh, venus own the fifth house along uh, associated with uh you know yoga karak i'm sorry uh, ninth lord saturn yes right yes and third lord sun so mercury and venus both are functional benefic for this lagna am i right yes for gemini ascendant and um, uh, because it is getting so much of score we can say that mercury and venus are quite strong in this chart mm hmm although it also appear through the divis uh d1 chart but when we check the score 19 is not a score uh, uh, you know a um, small number out of 20 <laughs> uh this chart belongs to bill gates yes popular chart of bill gates yeah so mercury venus uh, uh, because janmashtami is um, uh, coming there you know there is one combination given in phal dipika uh, called hari yoga oh okay and now uh, the combination is if someone is having ninth lord mercury and venus i repeat if someone is having ninth lord mercury and venus in trine or kendra okay in own sign or exaltation sign oh, okay so the person is uh, such person will have hari yoga and he will be, he will be wealthy good preserver and all those stuff which is related to connected to uh, bhagwan vishnu what are the vishnu traits uh, luxury yes just like lakshmi pati uh, out of the three devatas three mahashakti he is considered to be the most wise wise in the sense of a preserver and uh, he can uh, uh, you know mold the rules according to his own will without breaking it we have so many of example of vishnu avatar vaman avatar for example vaman avatar uh, teen pak dharti kahi thi aur <laughs> raja bali bechare ne sab de diya right and mohini avatar so there are lots of uh, um, you know uh, achhi cheez ke liye for good things um, he he can mold the rules so these are all the traits related to bhagwan vishnu if we consider all the three okay this is interesting this, yeah sorry uh, you are saying something this is, this is very interesting i will repeat mercury ninth lord and venus in kendra or trikon in own or exaltation correct correct wow <laughs> uh, and th this gentleman is having this combination because venus uh, in libra yeah. mercury exalted saturn being the ninth lord is also exalted there are certain other question which we need to cover uh, you know uh, i have done this video in hindi for my own channel and on that uh, in the com uh, comment section of that video someone asked me who should be more stronger in a perfect or who should be strong in a perfect chart a uh, ascendant lord or eighth lord if someone is having good vinshopak bala it uh, whether it should be ascendant lord or eighth lord he was he, we want to ask this question okay are you getting my point 
Yes, yes, yes. He's asking which one of these two should have a higher Vimshopakbal in the chart. Correct, correct, correct. Okay. Correct. And, uh, you know, the correct answer for this question is each and every house signifies some positive and negative traits. We cannot mm -hmm. say that 8,000 is always ne negative. Right? Yes, yes. And uh, even uh, strong Lagna, although Lagna represents uh, so much of benefic uh, traits, but strong Lagna also represents some negativity. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm fact, you, in Nadi, because it is 12th from the second house, it is considered mm -hmm. to be negative for marriage. Because any planet in the Lagna will give you a feeling wow. that you do, not, you do not need anybody. You are the king because sun gets exalted there in yeah, Aries. But, so correct. there it has its own role. And if it mm -hmm. goes in link with the 6, 8, 12 houses, the Lagna alone, then mm -hmm. it will be serious health problems. Absolutely. Absolutely. And one more thing, you know, Lagna represent your ideology, Lagna represent your, your behavior. Uh, and according to a different classical, if you have a strong Lagna Lord, it represents the person is uh, quite determined. You know, determined is quite a positive. Quote, determined is quite a positive word. But, yes. uh, you know, adamant and determined. These two terms are quite synonyms or we can say quite similar to each other. Yeah. It depends mm -hmm. on how you use Line. it. Absolutely. And uh, as you said that uh, strong Lagna Lord represent, uh, it's not a good sign for having a good married life because he, uh, he doesn't need anybody. Yeah. Or at uh, least he feels so that I should not compromise. Absolutely. He feels that I should always do for myself, not for anybody else. Hmm. Which is required in marriage because the second house is there. And this is the negation of the second house. So not only yeah. marriage, for any interactions, this happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, um, in a good married life, one should be a good listener too. He should yeah. not impose his own ideology to others. But unfortunately, if um, someone is having a strong lagna, Lord, it represents that the native is quite uh, self-centered. Yeah, guess. and another thing I've noticed with these people is if you talk to them sometimes, suppose the mm -hmm. lagna Lord is in lagna or in exaltation, sometimes I've seen, or especially in the 10th house, more so I've seen, you tell them <laughs> something. Halfway only, they will tell you the remaining story. <laughs> or without listening to you, halfway, they will tell that, oh, yeah, I got it. I understood what is the problem. Now you listen. You do this, you do this, you do this, then problem is solved. No, it doesn't work totally. like that. <laughs> please, please, please continue. Please yeah, I something. sometimes feel that if that is there, then a person thinks I am a great personality. And everybody wants my advice and suggestions and, and solutions, even if nobody is actually asking. Because sometimes people just want that you hear what problems they have rather yeah. than you giving them some solutions. Mm -hmm. Right, absolutely. And uh, this is the thing which, which, which is uh, considered to be negative related to uh, the lagna. Uh, even if you have strong lagna or if, uh, if you have strong lagna, in that case, we can say that uh, there, there are chances of not having good married life. But apart from it, all the other things are quite good. Yes. In the same way, 8th house or 6th house, um, 8th house uh, is considered as a negative uh, if we, uh, you know, through materialistic perspective. But um, if we talk about occult science, if we talk about spirituality, uh, paternal goodwill, paternal name, so uh, longevity. So these are the positive side of eighth house. So uh, not all houses are equally negative or positive or neither uh, a, com a house is completely negative. Yeah, so, there's something interesting which I would like to say here about the Dustanas. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, the I have seen in my experience, people are not that much terrorized by the eighth house or twelfth house but more mm. from the 6th house. Although the problems which 8, 12 houses gives are much bigger than the 6th house, but the right. horror is more of the 6th house because 6th house is the house of divorce or separation. Mm. But if you take mm. the ninth house, I've made a video on solutions to planets in 6th house. So in that, I said this, that if you take the ninth house, which is the house of religion, mm. and from there, if you see the 6th house is the 10th house. 10th house. So if you do not have a strong 6th house, your ninth house will be zero. It will not function. Because mm. if you see all the rule scriptures, na, you will see there are difficult things like you have to do fasting, karva chot is there, then you have to do mm. ekadashis, na, you have to sit and chant the mantras, discipline is required. 
all these mm-hmm. things will come from the sixth house so if somebody has some issues in the sixth house then they will face problems there also <laughs> absolutely absolutely so uh, if you are having any house uh, any uh, planet if it exceed or if it, it have uh, it has uh, more than 11 point we should consider that uh, that, that particular planetary dasha will give you uh, above average result okay whether it is eighth lot or sixth lot it doesn't make any difference okay uh, so the next question is from where the planet is gaining the score. Okay. It is very important. This point is very important. Um, you know, I have seen one case in which planet is uh, was getting around 15 point, which is quite a good number, right? Out of 20, 15 is not bad at all. Yes. Uh, person was asking that, uh, tell me something about my married life in upcoming five years. Mm-hmm. Okay, but just seeing the Finchopak Bala score, it is getting 15 and I say, oh, you will get uh, above average result in I mean, all aspects of, of your which life. Planet, uh, of which planet? The planet whose Mahadasha was running or of Venus or of the seven? Mah- Mahadasha, Mahadasha. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so we need to focus on the Vimsho, uh, Vinshopak Bala for it. Okay. And when Vinshopak Bala, it is getting uh, 15 marks. Okay. But when we focus on the divisional chart, we can see that this particular planet is not getting good score in Navamsha. Oh. It is getting good score in Hora and other charts. Okay. So even though it is 15, the uh, Navamsha's contribution is very less. That's what you are saying in that. Yes, you are right. Yeah, because, because when I saw that, this question, I was confused because I was like, already you have a sign and then you give the marks. But now I understand you are talking about divisional charts from where? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So this is uh, the reason why sometimes this number can, you know, confuse your, uh, this person, this particular planet is getting 15 score. How is not having good married life in this period? Because in Navamsha, the planet is in great animical sign. So mm. there he is not getting any score. And this is the fact, uh, even, you know, if someone is having good career, uh, at the same time, he may, might not have a good married life. You were telling earlier that, right? Yes. We uh, have different uh, dimension of our life. So we cannot say that uh, a person is having a good uh, above average life in all the aspect of life. Mm. We need to focus where he is getting the score, where he is afflicted. Okay. Both the point. Okay. 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 So uh, now here I want to ask you one question. Please, please. Yeah, so suppose a planet has like, what would you consider a good score around 15, 16, 17, something like that, for example. Mm -hmm. And suppose it has very less points in the Navamsa. Mm. Suppose, for example. So then uh, have you seen that uh, the Navamsa's results will be very, very, very bad? I mean, even if it has high score altogether, I mean, it's is it like an absolute thing or do you feel that no, even though the Navamsha is less, but because the overall score is high, because in Ashtak Varga, we see this, that mm. Saturn is transiting in one house that has more than 30 points, but Saturn right. itself is contributing one or two points. So it's yes. like a dicey situation there. So what is your opinion on that in this? See, if he is not getting good score in Navamsha, it represents he is not um, going, uh, uh, this t- particular time is not conducive for his married life. Yes, that is sure. He may get, he may get, he may get good wealth. He may get uh, other things because Hora chart represents your wealth. You yeah. may get uh, support from your sibling because uh, Drishkan chart is there to support you. D3 represents your sibling and you, you might be uh, getting good marks in it. But uh, if your Navamsha chart point are uh, less in that case, uh, a married life should not be good. And at the same time, for suppose if uh, someone is not getting good number in D1 chart. And uh, less charts are go- uh, giving him good number. So okay. it is not a good sign for your health. And oh. uh, the, the person who is going to enjoy all the comfort, if he's not good, how can he enjoy all those things? Okay. Right. पहला सुख निरोगी का आया हमारे भाषा में कहा जाता है राइट फर्स्ट पहला सुख है हैविंग अ गुड हेल्थ यस तो फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी इज दैट दैट इज व्हाई सिक्स पॉइंट्स आर अलॉटेड टू द लग्ना एंड वी नीड टू फोकस वेयर दिस पर्सन इज गेटिंग द स्कोर 
now let's uh, coming to this uh, example 14 december okay now in this chart jupiter is exalted right yes and uh, as uh, as we know that uh, exaltation uh, doesn't play any role in this uh, jupiter is in friendly sign who is posited 11th from jupiter okay so in temporary friendship uh, condition if a planet is posited in the next three house or previous three houses he become mm -hmm. friend of you your, yours yes, right yes yes he become friend of you so uh, uh, they are friend uh, through natural uh, natural system and they are also friend from uh, temporary uh, system so they become great friends so jupiter is posited in great friend situation right Yes. And um, this Jupiter is having 14 degree 54 minute um, in this Cancer sign. So in Navamsha, it will move into the Scorpio sign. Okay, in Navamsha, it will go, go into the Scorpio sign. Mm -hmm. Now Mars, Mars being the natural friend of Jupiter, yeah. but in D1 chart, oh. they are 6, 8 from each other. So wow. Navamsha score would be less or lesser as compared to the D1 chart. Okay. Okay. So we need to focus, you know, mutual position of each and every planet. Although in this chart, the Lagna uh, Lord is having good score. Chances of having good score are quite high. I'll share the exact score with you. Uh, so, uh, in this particular Jupiter Mahadasha, native is going to enjoy good health because of the Lagna Lord uh, situation and it also on the career power, right? So, it, uh, this Jupiter will also give good result related to career. The actual situation is Jupiter is getting 15 marks, which is just uh, we, I can we can say it is, it is uh, it's a good score out of twenty. If you are getting fifteen, it's not a bad score at all. Yeah. And uh, recently, this person um, uh, you know completed his Jupiter Dasha, and his own um, uh, point of view for this Dasha is quite good. He, he was saying he, I started a starter and he is running quite good. Uh, it was running quite. It, it is running quite good. Then um, marriage and all other things are uh, what happen in this particular. Jupiter. Okay. Okay. And uh, here, one more thing I wanted to ask you. So, please, in that please. chart, we saw that Mars was in the tenth house. So, do you take the concept of Digbala here that because it is in Digbala, it will have okay. Yes. 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 See, we need to check the chart over uh, the, the way we we normally do. Uh, you no, know, I'm the saying ninth for calculation of the the marks. Do you take the digbal into consideration, or only the no, sign? No, no, no. It 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 depends only on friendship. Okay, okay, okay. Otherwise, as you said, uh, uh, being the ninth lord posited in the tenth house, aspecting the lagna, aspecting the lagna lord, yes. right? Yes. Posited in the tenth house, aspecting the tenth lord. Yeah. So. Definitely, this uh, uh, this native is going to attain a very good position, right? Yes. So now, see, according to this particular chart, uh, 30th December 1975, 22-30 hours, uh, Long Beach, uh, California. See, in this chart, uh, Jupiter is posited in his own sign, Pisces. And uh, sun is posited in its uh, friendly side. Right. One is the Lagna Lord and the other one is the fifth Lord. Okay. Yes. Uh, sun, because of its degree, it's 15 degree 20 minutes. So it will fall into the Pancham Navamsha if we count it from Aries. So this is how we make Navamsha chart. Yes. And uh, it will fall in Leo side in Navamsha. So, although uh, on uh, from D1, uh, you know, we can say uh, Jupiter is more strong sign-wise as yes. compared to Sun because it is in the own sign. Yeah. Right. 
but uh, if we uh, see if we check the divisional chart the situation will be different situation is this sun is having 17 points out of 20 and jupiter is having 15 point lesser than sun one thing oh. the other point is which i want to make and which we are discussing earlier that you know we need to check from where jupiter is getting this 15 marks in Janma Kundli, it is in Pisces, so it will get good marks in from the Lagna, right? In Hora, it is in Leo, friendly sign, no issue at all. In Drishkan, Scorpio, again Mars sign, friendly sign. But in Navamsha, it is in Capricorn. Okay. So we do we are in, in this method, as I said earlier, where there is no need to use Ucha Nicha Avasta, but Saturn yes. and Jupiter is also not having a good relationship. Uh, one is neutral, the other one is enemical towards it. So, uh, in Navamsha, it become uh, uh, in it falls in enemical sign. Okay, so suppose Jupiter Dasha is running, we need to focus there, and we have we have to say this that in this particular Dasha period, your married life will not be very good. It will mm -hmm. not be very suitable. Although you will earn well, you will have good health, you will get support from your siblings and all the other stuffs. But Navamsha chart representing that this phase is not good for your married life. Okay. Yeah. So this is the point which I want to make. And uh, the other thing is because in this chart, uh, Sun is owning the Lagna. And uh, if Lagnesh is getting a good win, Shopak Bala, it, it represents the Sun is quite, Sun is strong. And uh, hello? Yeah. So sun is strong. So it is a good sign for uh, lagna of the native, for good health, for other things. Uh, sun sun uh, is quite beneficial. And same for the Jupiter. Yeah. So finally, <laughs> I wanted to ask one question. So sometimes people ask that, which is the most strongest planet in my chart? Mm -hmm. Like in India, most of the times we get this question that, Oh, will I get a government job? My son is having this. It's in the 10th house. It is exalted or it's in the 5th house. So and so 10 number of reasons. So if suppose an area like government services, which requires son to be very strong, irrespective of the details, it's politics or IS or whatever you call it in India, especially. So suppose in a person's chart, son has very high Vimshapakbal. So, do you have you seen any examples or what is your viewpoint on this that they can try for government services, like you said for Bill Gates, yes, that yes. Mercury Venus, something See, like I that? I applied right? this principle um, way back in two thousand eight or two thousand nine, most probably. Uh, oh. I use uh, seventy uh, IAS officer chart. Uh, oh. Selected seventy IAS, IFS, IRS officers chart, and uh, oh. on that. So in those chart, uh, you know, I apply few principle uh, in, okay. in, in which this Vinshopakbala principle was also there. Mm -hmm. And in 90% chart, out of 70 uh, chart, 90% chart, they all have uh, sun uh, with uh, more than 15 points in Vinshopakbala. Oh, okay. And apart from it, um, here I need to uh, make one more point that uh, overall planetary st planet strength should be seen from Shadbala, which is a uh, long method, but um, uh, result giving also. In and that particular Bala, we use Drishti, uh, Drishti, Yuti, Ayan, you know, all those stuff, Kalbal, uh, Rashival, Sthanval, etc., etc. And after that, we'll, we'll sum up to us uh, some number that this planet is strong in your chart. And ah, on ah. that uh, note, no one can question you whether this planet oh. is strong or not because you you applied all these things, you know, um, Vakra, Anuvakra, Asta, these, this okay. theory, conjunction, etc. But this Vinshopakbala is quite easier as compared to Shadbala. And at the same time, for judging Dasha of the native, this, this uh, principle works, this uh, theory works. Okay. Like uh, we can also precisely judge the dasha for particular areas of his life. That's the best part, I think, yes. for this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, so uh, you have seen that sun had more uh, vimshopakbal in the case of IAS officers. Right. 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 Okay. 
and another thing i want to ask you uh, suppose somebody in the natal chart has venus in some position for example and then the person has suppose some less points for venus in vimshopak bal and suppose the seventh lord has very good vimshopak bal hmm so what is your opinion so will it be something specifically related to marriage or we have to see dasha wise that this planet dasha it has this much in avamsha or right. how do you see that <laughs> uh yeah if some if someone is having uh, if seventh lord is having good in shopak bala but venus is not good in that particular chart as both of we know that uh, married life is not limited to venus only because no doubt yes. venus romance between husband and wife but apart from it um, you know caring and trust and there are other factors too which which works in a chart so uh, we should do a priority to seventh lord uh if we are judging venus and seventh lord together okay okay so uh, that means the seventh lord will also have its implications irrespective of the uh, natural signification so for example suppose seventh lord is mars then that will have its effect on relation to the seventh house and apart from the fact that it is mars also correct correct and okay. particularly as i said earlier we need to uh, apply this point uh, uh, theory uh, particularly on dasha it will give fantastic result apart from it natural traits and uh, the lordship yes you are right on those two things uh, this will work uh, but the placement okay. i repeat placement of position uh, placement of planet i haven't seen any uh, significant role of enshopak bala there Oh, okay suppose i am telling you suppose um, saturn is posited in the 10th house with a good vinshopak bala and we are saying in saturn mahadasha you are going to attain good career uh, okay. it, it was not happening at the time oh so we should uh, ignore position but the rest things are working on this uh, with this method okay okay <laughs> fantastic this is i think uh, not there in youtube i mean very less places this is there i think vimshopak bal one it's obviously there in your channel and uh, what do you think next we should discuss on shad bal or some other any other topic you the vast topic we we need to do a series on it if we want to uh, because shad bal is not limited to one video or i would say it it takes a uh, i would say almost a series of 20 to 25 videos if you want to cover shad bala no i am not saying of the calculation part okay like some charts with this planet with this much shad bal how it is coming that's not none of our business that not the your... software will calculate mm. so then then maybe we can do something like this correct 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 yes uh, what we can predict out of sthan bala right and yeah. uh, yes. through cheshta bal what we can check Uh, yes we can do uh, you know video on shad bala uh, uh, in predictive part only right For yeah we can give in in one slide we can put all the measures that because of this 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 happened like this and then the remaining can be examples that this planet in this person like you gave for bill gates you know the example mm 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 fantastic okay. and one thing i want to say to the audience is recently i saw your channel you had made a video on navamsha na <laughs> the vargottam sorry so yeah. three three categories of that vargottam thing which you uh, wow. i was like wow that's not there and i think if anybody wants to get that information without seeing your channel or forget youtube and take all the internet forums and going to villages and taking out the scripts and reading i don't think it will happen in this lifetime are in lifetime but that for that you have given like i, I was amazed i was like wow <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody has not watched it then please go to astro life sutras and watch it i will pin the link of the channel in the description below and amazing videos are there and, and i was like we see that video is there in the recent week i think top mm-hmm. three five videos so correct, you can correct. type vargottama there and you can see it is in hindi mm-hmm. and that's it and uh, on fourth i'll be reaching delhi in the morning and uh, i will be meeting him personally again <laughs> so there uh, we will do another another session another recording there and in that we will answer the queries which you will have in this video on vimshopakbal
of course most of them he will be answering but if i can answer some of them i will also try my best and if you have some other questions or queries not pertaining to your own horoscope but in general you yeah. can write them in the comments of this video we will try our best to explain it so he is telling that he will take me throughout delhi and he will make me roam the places and while in the car he, we will record and we will try to answer the questions all right Definitely. so that is it from my side thank you everybody for your patient listening and nitin ji for coming <laughs> thanks for inviting me thank yeah, you very soon we will get together again okay namaste see you soon then <laughs>